got another junk journal with me video today. This one is another response to a prompt from Junk Journal July, which is run by Meg, which I will um, link in the description as always. Uh, and the prompt today is photograph. So I've taken this photograph of myself, this was a selfie, and I've actually put it in Photoshop and done a bit of um, playing with it to make it a little less clear. I've added some noise, I've taken out the color, I've, um, I mean, it's obviously very clear what it is, but it looks a little bit more like a photo from like a newspaper rather than a crisp digital image. Um, and I've printed that out on some glossy photo paper that's actually also a sticker, um, which you'll see a little bit later. And now I've got this little scrap of paper, which I am writing on <laughs> uh, backwards because I'm going to cut it out and the paper is quite delicate and the pieces that I'm cutting are quite small. So I, I wanna have uh, like some guidelines to cut on so I get the letters right, but I don't wanna have to erase pencil lines from it once they're cut out because they're gonna to be too fragile and they'll just break. So I'm just writing on the back and doing it backwards so that then when you flip it over, you won't have the pencil lines there. Um, yeah, it's possibly a bit of a roundabout way of doing that, but I have a pretty roundabout brain, so <laughs> it's just how we work around here. Um, so yeah, I'm just using my craft knife, uh, a little scalpel thing to cut them out and then um, setting them aside because they're going to go onto um, another piece of paper in a minute. So yeah, I'm cutting them out with this knife, which is the same one that I use for doing other kinds of collage. I find that it's really precise and um, I have like good control with it. Um, so I can cut out these really tiny pieces and yeah. That works pretty well for me. I also really like having this very small piece of cutting mat as well. Um, it's handy for getting into tricky places, which you might have seen in my last video, a previous one. Uh, I think the prompt was good vibes because you can tuck it into like pockets and things if you need to. Um, and it's also nice because I tend to work on a pretty small scale when it comes to collage. Like I'm often cutting out really tiny little petals and letters and things like that. So, um, Having a small cutting mat is great because then it doesn't have to take up my whole desk. Um, so yeah, I've got this piece of uh, like vellum tracing paper stuff and I've typed some words on it, but then the first and the final word in this little thought that I've had are going on um, in this sort of cut out letters. And because you're gonna see the back of this piece when I have it in the journal, I don't wanna put glue on it um, to hold these little pieces of, of paper these little letters in place because you'll see the glue marks on the back so I'm having to as I sew them onto this piece of vellum I'm having to like get my tweezers put a letter in underneath hold it in place with the foot of the sewing machine do a couple of stitches uh, and then repeat <laughs> so it's a little bit of a fiddly process but I don't mind that I, I quite enjoy these kind of um yeah, fiddly processes because it kind of it puts me in problem solving mode. It puts me in a very focused kind of just paying attention to the thing that's in front of me mode, which is really good for me personally. I find that's a good place to be mentally. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's again, this is the kind of thing that I know would drive some people crazy and that they would hate to do. But for me, it's it's fine. It's fun. It's good. So I'm stitching all of those in place. Um, and then I've got this little sort of sentiment which says um, every expectation and interpretation produces a unique distortion. So that's just some reflection that I was doing um, around uh, frustrations around being heard and understood and the fact that it's really difficult to ever really communicate effectively no matter how hard we try with the people who we want to understand our internal worlds, right? And um, sometimes that can be really frustrating. Um, and it, it's in response to a poem that I read and then a reflection on that poem, um, which I'm actually gonna put some words from in the little pocket in a minute. Um, so yes, yeah, so I took this little piece and I attached it to a piece of plastic packaging. Um, I know this is a great junk journal tip that lots of us do. Um, hanging onto those packaging pieces are, is a really good idea because you can use them to create little windows or like I'm doing here, um, 
transparent layers uh, that it's just a really handy way of using some of that sort of rubbish that we seem to have endless quantities of to um, to our advantage in our journals. It is tricky to add adhesive to it, obviously. <laughs> um, so you can see I was making pretty liberal use of staples there, but what I've ended up with are these layers that add sort of more distance between the viewer and the image in this journal. And I was sort of reflecting a little bit on how difficult it is to communicate experience in a way that's satisfactory um, for any of us really if you really want to be heard and understood on something it can you never really know if the person you're communicating with gets you and for some of us that's particularly difficult for different reasons like if you're someone who is grieving and you're trying to explain grief to someone who hasn't experienced it or you're somebody with chronic illness and you're trying to explain what that's like to somebody who has never experienced it there's always going to be this sort of um, frustration where um, you never really quite feel like you've been heard despite everyone's best intentions so that's kind of what I was reflecting on here um, and I had some words which um, were by Paul Regaltalma. I'm, I'm not sure if that's the best pronunciation. My Irish is really bad. <laughs> but um, he was writing about a poem by Ada Limon called Wonder Woman and it really uh, hit home for me and what the poem did too, actually. I'll link them below. Um, and so I've sort of transcribed his words and then they are kind of what sparked this particular um page I guess so that's kind of where we are <laughs> anyway um, I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you like the spread I really like the way it turned out it's um pleasingly textured and layered which is always something that makes me feel good and yeah um I'll see you again really soon bye <laughs>